<laughs> Welcome along gamers, we are getting excited for Ni no Kuni 2, which is coming to the PlayStation 4 and PC on the 23rd of March 2018. Not long to wait now gamers if you're as excited as we are. Now if you do like the look of Ni no Kuni 2, do stay with us and watch this video because we've got six amazing Ni no Kuni 2 features that you're really going to want to have a look at when you can get some gameplay going. The game looks absolutely stunning, there's a wonderful combat system, there's a new story to enjoy for people that played the original game and even if you didn't. So you can play this game standalone, it's absolutely okay to miss the first one out, although I would recommend you play it even if it means digging out the PlayStation 3 because it's a wonderful game. But here we go, we're going to look at six of the gameplay features of Ni no Kuni 2 that really look great to us, ones that we can't wait to experience for ourselves and hopefully you feel the same way. Get ready to pick your favourite guys and let me know in the comments. In at number 6, we're going to get an incredible new story out of Ni no Kuni 2, a standalone story. Now the Wrath of the White Witch obviously will have repercussions in this universe, it's set in the world after it, so we are going to get some references to that. Um, and it was an outstanding story but standalone. This time we're going to focus on new characters. We've got Evan, which is the boy king with the cute little ears. Um, and we've got Roland, who's this kind of strange uh, person that's come from a mystery world. Um, he looks a lot younger than he actually is in this world. Um, so where's he come from? We're not sure about that. There are some things they're keeping nicely under wraps to not spoil it. But what's clear is... Evan becomes dethroned somehow and there's going to be some um, many a moment where I'm not crying, you're crying type things come along uh, so we have to dry our tears away um, but it looks like there's going to be quite a few challenges in this one there's some characters to meet and some quests to go on to kind of get the kingdom back and it looks like it could be a really beautiful well told story in at number 5 we're focusing on this just gorgeous world to explore I mean we're looking at it now at a kind of a world map kind of location what Nino Kuni originally did was to use that classic open um, like world map style gameplay mixed with really in-depth locations and it looks like what they've done with the development is take that to the next level this time. Um, we're not going to necessarily be using the same studio but we are going to get that same kind of styling and some of these if you look at this location this you know this city that's inspired by Taiwan according to some interviews with the developers it looks absolutely gorgeous um, but there's gonna be lots of things to do in that world as well you're gonna get out there there's gonna be quests there's gonna be things to find general RPG stuff you're gonna get out there you're gonna find some enemies that you can't quite beat straight away and you're gonna to need to come back and take them on later when you've, you've got your party stronger you've got your levels up looks a stunning world and really well captured next up is this new real-time combat system gamers this is a real change from the original game that uses kind of turn-based system with cooldowns um, I enjoyed it personally but it's nice to have a little bit of a twist going to an action time full real-time battle system looks really captivating especially against those boss fights which the, the first game was notoriously good for had great boss fights in it hopefully that repeats in this second one the game also introduces Higgledy's to your party which are kind of like these weird sprite things that kind of come to your assistance um, and whilst they're there you can activate them and they launch things like cannons and other cool stuff onto the battlefield making it look like really intense um, some of the visuals on some of these battles are really good too I'm really liking the lighting effects uh, but it certainly looks like you've got quite a lot of variety in the fighting some of the combat's got to be engaging especially out in that open world there where you're out in the grind and you kind of get that XP point looks absolutely fantastic looks fun too for those of you that were watching the real-time battle system and getting a little bit worried about it, don't worry, there's still a lot of traditional RPG stuff going on in Nino Kuni 2 for you to enjoy. As you can see, there's quite an extensive inventory system, there's a leveling system where you're going to be developing your characters, gaining XP, getting out, look at that map, getting out into that world and just exploring, getting into combat getting those characters stronger, getting in that XP, finding those things to make you know your weapons better. There's also going to be a lot of quests to take on, because you've got to remember this game's taken an upgrade, the original title was on the PlayStation 3, this is coming on to the PlayStation 4 and PC for the first time, so it's likely we're going to see quite a lot of expansion in the gameplay in terms of what RPG mechanics we can handle, the amount of quests that there are to do, the people that there are to talk to, and what you can take on in this world. Chances are this world's going to be absolutely 
absolutely huge. Now, again, keeping it under wraps, but there does seem to be a lot of classic RPG elements coming to us. Another thing about Nino Kuni, the original and obviously a JRPG RPG tradition, is having really good companions and characters through the story. Sometimes you find that a character can make a story that's reasonable a lot better just because of the way they are and the way they captivate you. Now the original game um, saw you being very attached immediately to Oliver and um, his, his uh, Drippy, the uh, little fairy companion that he has. Now this time we're going to have to attach ourselves to Evan, um, who's the boy that would be king. And he looks like a really intriguing character as well, a little bit Oliver-like, so that there's quite a few similarities there in, in kind of his appearance a little bit. I'm not sure that's accidental. And then obviously there's this, this kind of strange one where you've got... Um, the president who's actually 40 something but looks like a 20 something year old um, and there's also a sky pirate that you'll be playing as well called uh, Tani and that looks pretty cool. In at number one uh, I've got your stunning visuals and music. Now sometimes you can feel a little bit shallow for saying that oh my god that game's graphics are so good and sometimes when it's over substance yeah maybe it is but sometimes it is worth just sitting back and saying something is, is a bit of a work of art and Nino Kuni originally was. This looks like a step forward in terms of presentation mainly because of the power of what PC and PlayStation 4 are going to deliver. What also stood out from the original game is how good that soundtrack and music was. There were some just absolutely gorgeous tracks on that game and if you listen to some of the ones in the videos, there's some on the article on mygamesdown.com um, I mean, there's some absolutely beautiful music that's been used for the trailers so far. I can only imagine it's even better during the gameplay, just as, you, as you're getting around this world. So it looks absolutely gorgeous. The, the cutscenes and the art look absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to play it. I hope you guys are looking forward to it even more now, having watched the video. Thanks for watching. What are you excited for the most, though, guys? Get in those comments on YouTube or in My Games Lounge and let me know. If you found the video useful, please like it and subscribe to the My Games Lounge YouTube channel. And please do share this around on social media. It'd be really helpful. As ever, there's more stuff on Nino Kuni on MyGamesLounge.com. Thanks for watching, guys.